Julian Davis, you are the campaign chair for the Yes on H Clean Energy Act. Tell us about the measure for San Francisco and not only that, how it could be a model for other cities in the rest of the United States. San Francisco Clean Energy Act is San Francisco's answer to global warming, uh, the climate crisis. It's our answer to uh, Al Gore's recent challenge for 100% clean energy. It will make San Francisco the first major city in the nation, the first major city in the world to require 100% of its energy come from clean sources for, for its electricity supply. Uh, that uh, is uh, something that can provide an inspiration for other cities across the state, across the nation, and across the world uh, to really start to transform uh, our uh, impact uh, on the environment. We're well aware now that the largest source of our uh, carbon emissions, uh, greenhouse gas emissions, come from our uh, from our energy supply. Uh, this is uh, really our chance uh, to uh, be a world leader, I think, in, in making this transition to a clean energy future, and at the same time, uh, becoming a hub and jump, really becoming, uh, you know, really sparking and jump, creating a jump start uh, for the for the green economy here uh, in the Bay Area, but uh, really across the country. Julian, that's a, a big jump to 100% clean energy. How can we get there in San Francisco? The timeline for reaching the 100% clean energy goal in this particular measure, Proposition H, is 51% by 2017, 75% by 2030, and 100% by 2040. Now, of course, if we this could, is generational. It is, and it's within three decades, or roughly three decades out. Uh, that we would get to that goal, but as we're starting to see, uh, the price of natural gas is going up, the price of renewable energy uh, is going down, uh, especially with wind uh, and solar, uh, and that really, uh, if you look at our economic model around our en energy policy, it's completely not only environmentally unsustainable, but economically unsustainable. Whereas a nation where, you know, borrowing hundreds of billions of dollars from uh, China and other countries and spending that money to secure fossil fuel resources in the Middle East when we could be collecting energy from above our heads, below our feet, uh, from the environment around us, uh, which really creates uh, a robust, stable, sustainable basis for the American economy. We have a, a, a really responsibility, this generation, uh, to, to build that infrastructure uh, or else this country is going to be in even deeper trouble moving forward than it's already getting itself into. Has this ever been done before? Uh, there is no major city in the world that has required 100% clean energy for its electricity supply. There are uh, a small city in Missouri, in fact, that I think is 100% clean. There's only a couple thousand people living there. They've got a lot of wind power. And there are, of course, other countries that are taking the lead, Germany and Japan, in terms of renewable development and uh, uh, renewable industries, renewable energy industries, solar and others. Uh, but as far as a major city in the world creating a mandate for 100% clean energy, San Francisco would be the first. Is there a way that people in other cities who want to replicate this initiative can contact you? Absolutely. Uh, Julian at sfcleanenergy.com. Uh, check out our website, sfcleanenergy.com. Uh, and uh, our contact is on there and the ways to get involved in Prop H Clean Energy Campaign in San Francisco. We're in, who's endorsed the uh, measure? Yeah, there's, it's we're really uh, proud of the broad uh, political coalition that has uh, formed in support of Proposition H uh, from the Dem Democratic Party here uh, to the Sierra Club, the League of Conservation Voters, uh, a wide uh, array of uh, elected leadership from San Francisco, from our state assembly members, uh, Fiona Ma and Mark Leno, uh, to a supermajority of our local board of supervisors, including uh, the sponsors, uh, Supervisor Ross Mercurimi, uh, Board President Aaron Peskin. Uh, the list goes on and on. SCIU, uh, neighborhood groups that have gotten involved all across the city, uh, Democratic clubs uh, from dis different districts all across the city, environmental groups. Uh, folks from the labor community, activists of all stripes and community leaders. It's a very broad coalition. We are on a campaign really to offer help and hope uh, to San Francisco uh, and beyond uh, for our energy future uh, and, and really building that infrastructure that we know will be the basis of a sound environment and a sound economy for centuries to come. 
Uh, it's too bad that Gavin Newsom is so close with uh, PG&E. He shares a chief political consultant with PG&E to the point where he is willing to put the private interests of one corporate uh, monopoly over the public interest of uh, the citizens of planet Earth and certainly the, in the interests of the city of San Francisco.